I am a developer. I am a web developer now. But one year ago, I, I, I couldn't imagine that I, I, I can have a career after programming, you know? And yeah, by some chance, I just wondering, could I just, you know, write some code to, 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 to run my statistical model? Instead of you know click the buttons every time I have to repeat multiple times to you know to let my colleagues to review my analysis, which is really really a uh, uh, clumsy. Yeah, the first piece of code I wrote is uh, is not using C C plus plus Java Python. It's just kind of like a general purpose programming language. Uh, instead, it's R, which is a statistical language. I use that is because I I needed to yeah build my statistical modeling for my research paper. By that time, I I I remember clearly like it took me like just one week, yeah maximum one week, and then I I I know how to wrote uh, the the code the in r and uh, hundreds of lines of code just just come so naturally for me uh and i feel like uh, okay maybe i can you know uh explore a little bit more about uh, other programming language and uh, i needed to yeah build my statistical modeling for my research paper by that time, I, I, I remember clearly, like, it took me, like, just one week, yeah, maximum one week, and then I, I, I know how to wrote uh, the, the code the, in R, and uh, hundreds of lines of code just, just come so naturally for me. Uh, and then I feel like, uh, okay, maybe I can, you know, uh, explored a little bit more about uh, other programming language and uh, I want to so yeah I want to introduce this book because uh, because I took the courses 50 yeah maybe yeah it's, I, I think it's pretty well no course and uh, it's free online course. It's supposed to be a six month program, but you can finish in your short period if you are really good at me. And uh, yeah, because they use uh, C in their program, and then I I just bought this book from Amazon to uh, I kind of like finish all of them um, pretty quickly, but. Uh, I don't know other people, but for me, at least, I have like uh, two struggling points. The first one is uh, I have the solutions in my brain, and then somehow I I I just couldn't figure out how to you know, translate to my code. The second one is I don't have uh, the complete solution, maybe a little bit, but. Uh, it's not the final one, but I don't. I, I don't give up. I just like okay, start writing code, and uh, during that coding process, it trigger your brain to think a little bit further, and then you just come up with a very good solutions. I remember like uh, after following free code camp for two months. Uh, I built some small web applications and then put them in my portfolio. And then immediately, <laughs> I prepared my uh, resume, sent out to my job applications. Yeah, not too bad. I I, I got two job interviews. Um, although I I wasn't accepted to any of them, but I learned quite a bit and. Uh, one key lesson I learned, yeah, it's, I think it's very obvious, uh, is I don't have a, a working experience. So I was like a little bit depressed 
because how could I get a job in job as experience without uh, my first job? You know, it's uh, really confusing. So I took uh, another one month um, leave and uh, went on vacation to Paris and uh, with, with my best friend and then came back uh, to Netherlands again. Okay? I enjoyed a free, okay, so another free <laughs> coding school. Yeah, it's kind of like a boot camp, but it's free. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even think too much, I just like uh, because I have no choice, I, I couldn't find a job. Um, maybe I can build up some, you know, uh, connections by job or boot camp. Yeah, you know, you will get to know more people there. And then I was, uh, yeah, become a boot camp. Uh, which start from uh, August, uh, maybe August or July, yeah, uh, and uh, it's a six months, yeah, it's a six months program, and uh, at the first we we learn like uh, the basic like uh, HTML, CSS, bootstrap, uh, and second part is a little bit more like algorithm and. Uh, uh, learn the fun framework like React, and then uh, use Node.js. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's December. It's December, two thousand eighteen. Uh, I got uh, a call first. I got a call. Um, oh, I, I forgot to mention like very interest. Uh, we as a book camp, we even like uh, prepare a, a video <laughs> about ourselves. You know, it's like introduce your uh, yeah why you want to learn programming and uh, uh, what kind of motive do you have? Something like this. Pretty fun. Hi, I'm so happy to tell you my story. My Chinese name is Jun Li. My friends call me Amy. I'm from China. I always want to help people. So I studied medicine in my country. I became a doctor working in a big hospital in Shanghai. During that period, I got a phone call from a, 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 a company and then so, yeah went well and then I got to the second round is about a technique test so uh, it's, uh, it's it's not a difficult algorithm problem it's just like um, they have a, a time limit so I have to solve it quickly but luckily like uh, yes uh, yeah I remember solving it in one minute I finished like uh, three simple algorithm uh, and then after that, uh, and uh, uh, and also after Christmas, you know, there's a Christmas holiday, and uh, I was so happy. I was processed to the third round, which is like uh, on campus interview. And uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's your uh, last your uh, last one hour, and then. They asked me quite a lot of questions. Uh, most of the questions not about the technical question. It's about uh, some like uh, teamwork, uh, you know, uh, like uh, g give you some many possible situations. Like uh, if you have a uh, underperformer uh, colleague in in your team, how do you handle this? And uh, yes, something like this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I passed uh, this interview and a uh, couple of weeks later, I eventually got uh, the call, got uh, the decision call from the recruiter and then she told me, yeah, I got the job. I was so happy and uh, yeah, that's my, that's my story. It's, uh, I, I hope like, uh, uh, 
I hope anyone watching this video can find a little bit, you know, relevant to your own situation. And I will continue sharing my stories and also I, I try my best to, to provide some useful information for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.